What's going on everyone and welcome to part 17 of tutorial series on AWS audio analysis. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through the high level architecture diagram. And now in this tutorial, we are going to modify the Lambda function for speaker identification. So as you can see on my screen, we have the architecture diagram over here. And we are going to modify this lambda function that is marked in yellow, uh, which is already created in one of the earlier tutorials. So here we require speaker identification because we want to apply sentiment analysis on the transcript of an individual speaker. Is that in our case, it's agent and the customer. So we can achieve speaker separation or speaker identification by two methodologies uh, that are channel identification or separation and speaker diarization rization or speaker identification. And fortunately, AWS Transcribe supports both. So uh, we will use the second methodology that is speaker identification or speaker diarization. So the channel identification method would have worked in our use case if we are sure that the agent and customer audio has been stored in right and left channel respectively. But here the scenario could be different. So for example, we have two channel audio, uh, but after channel separation, we expect that the two files created will consist of agent and customer audio separately. So for example, as I said, uh, we have two channel audio. So if we apply channel identification, then it will create two separate audio file. Correct. So, and we expect that each audio file will have a separate audio of agent and customer respectively. So now if the conversation is not recorded in individual channels separately, then the separated audio with channel separation technique will contain the whole conversation in both the files is that both the file will contain the audio of agent and customer both. So hence uh, the channel identification might fail with the given use case. Now if you are sure that audio is recorded properly as I mentioned earlier for channel identification then you can opt out for channel separation or channel identification. So while we are here, uh, if you have the recordings for Amazon Connect, then you should definitely go for channel identification because Amazon Connect store the agent audio in the right channel and customer audio in the left channel respectively. So channel identification can work well with Amazon Connect recordings. So since we are going to modify this Lambda function, let's jump to the AWS management console. And from there, we will jump to Lambda management console. And we are going to open that Lambda function that is AWS audio analysis. So this is how the Lambda function looks like. Oh, it's not loaded yet. Let me reload it. Yeah, here we go. So the Lambda function looks like this. Now here, uh, we are going to modify this method that is start transcription underscore chop. So after language code, we are going to add uh, one more key that is settings equal to a dictionary that is followed by show speaker labels and its value is boolean that is it could be true or false since we want to identify the speaker labels we will keep it as true and then we have to specify another uh, parameter that is oops that is 
max speaker labels and here in our case uh, it's going to be two speakers that is one for agent and one for customer so uh, these are the two parameters that we have to set in order to achieve speaker diarization rization or speaker separation so uh, in case if you want to go for channel identification then you have to mention this parameter that is channel identification and again it's boolean and it should be true now one thing you need to keep in mind that you cannot pass show speaker labels and channel identification both as true so either should be true and one of them should be false so transcribe does not support both the functionality at the same time so either show speaker labels uh, will be true or either channel identification will be true so now here since i'm going to use speaker diarization i i'm going to put show speaker labels as true and max speaker labels as true so yeah uh, we are going to save this lambda function and we have successfully configured this lambda function for achieving the speaker diarization i so that's it for now uh, in the next tutorial we might end up creating the new resources so that is uh, this one which are marked in red and also we will set up the triggers correctly so as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time